Yo, what's up guys? My name's Hacky, and in this video we have an updated best of money tech vehicles in GTA Online for the year of 2024. Starting with the most French sounding vehicle in the whole game, the Panade La Carouse. We really don't have a lot of Panade vehicles in the game, but this very unique looking electric sports car is actually really good. It's right up there with the best performing sports cars, especially for tracks with a lot of turns. Also, what's really cool about this vehicle that it's not only a money tech upgradable, but it's also HSW upgradable so with that HSW upgrade it's actually a really fast vehicle it's pretty rare to see in this game a vehicle have both upgrades it makes for a very useful vehicle that's for sure now when it comes to the Amani tech upgrades it doesn't have any armor plating along with it most Amani tech vehicles do have that extra armor plating upgrade so it takes several rockets to blow up the vehicle but it does have the missile lock on jammer which is what's most important if you ask me it sits just under two million dollars and and I think it's not that bad of a price for what you're getting. You're getting a top tier sports car with the Mani Tech and with HSW. After all the different upgrades and customization you can do with it, it's gonna easily be like over two and a half million dollars. But this is a game where you have to spend a lot of money these days. If it would have had that armor plating upgrade, it definitely would have been a bit higher on this list. But it's still a pretty respectable spot in a great vehicle. Up next, coming in a little bit cheaper than the La Carouse is the Illusion. One million. $835,000 for a really good all-around SUV. Unlike the Lockaroos, the Illusion does have armor plating and it takes a good amount of rockets to blow it up, so protection-wise, it is top tier. Of course, it also has the missile lock-on jammer and it's become one of my favorite SUVs in the whole game. It handles really well, it's really easy to drive around, and it's got some good speed as well. It's not the fastest SUV in the world, like let's say the Tauros or the Novak, but it's still up there. I like the customization of it as well. It's got a good amount of nice grill options, some roof options, a ton of different hood options, and some pretty cool looking liveries as well. Great overall car. It's surprisingly a really good off-roading SUV as well. Going off-roading with it is actually a lot of fun. No complaints about this one. Let's move on to the next. The Anus Jubilee is arguably the most luxurious Imani Tech vehicle out there. It's based off of a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, which is a super high-end vehicle. I actually saw one of these in real life and they look freaking beautiful. When it comes to the looks of it, straight up, this is one of my favorite in the entire game, hands down. The fact I saw it in real life probably helps that point, but beautiful looking vehicle. It's an absolute masterpiece, and it's got a Mani Tech upgrades, remote controllability, missile lock-on jammer, and the armor plating once again. Compared to the prices of other vehicles that come out these days, this actually has a decent price tag, sitting at about $1.6 million, which is not that bad of a price honestly. Along with the explosion resistance it also has some bullet resistance so the glass of it isn't gonna break the first bullet that gets fired at it. So if you're trying to roam the streets of Los Santos safely while also looking good in a great looking car the Jubilee is perfect for that so highly recommend this one. Let's move on to the next one. Next up is an Imani Tech muscle car the Buffalo EVX. This one's a pretty quick muscle car but it's got some terrible brakes. After going at high speeds trying to break with this thing is near impossible. It's actually much worse than usual. Surprisingly, this isn't just an ordinary muscle car. I mean, of course, it's got a Mani Tech, but it's also electric. You don't see a lot of electric muscle cars in GTA Online just because when you think of a muscle car, you think of the loud engine noise that it's supposed to have. But this one, I mean, it's completely silent because it's electric. Kind of an odd combination in the game just because I'm used to hearing like a Dodge Charger, like a Hellcat revving the engine. So this one's a little weird. Personally, not the biggest fan of electric muscle cars just because I like hearing the engine sound for muscle cars, but it's still a great performing vehicle and I feel like that's a bit more important to most people. This one's going to cost you about 2.2 million bucks. Not super cheap. This next one has a pretty long full name. It is the Grotti Itali GTO Stinger TT. Most people just call it the Stinger TT just because we already have the regular Itali GTO. It's another HSW upgradable car, so when you put those HSW upgrades, it is extremely fast. I want to say it is the fastest Imani Tech vehicle when it comes to top speed after putting those HSW upgrades. You can get it for just under 2.4 million dollars. I actually understand why this vehicle is so expensive unlike some other ones. It's got a lot going for it especially the speed of it. Handling isn't as impressive but when you have a vehicle this fast you cannot expect the handling to be perfect too. With the handling being the weakness of it it's still got the armor plating, it's still got the missile lock-on jammer and slow 
slick mines which could be pretty useful if you're in a chase. I would definitely recommend using the Stinger TT in races where top speed is mostly used and sharp turns are minimal because it doesn't really thrive with that. Very solid car. Let's move back into the muscle class. We have yet another Buffalo Amani tech vehicle. This time it is the Buffalo STX. The past few years there's been a lot of different really good muscle cars that have released into the game and amongst all those great muscle cars the Buffalo STX might just be my favorite. It really just smokes the competition in the muscle class. It is fantastic in speed and handling for that class. It could even compete with sports cars. Might as well put it in the sports class because it just blows away the competition in muscle. It's got a very good balance between great speed and also decent handling. It handles much better than the Stinger TT. That is for sure. It has a buy it now price of $2.15 million. Not that bad of a price, but if you can manage to get the trade price, this would be a really good deal. The trade price comes in at just over $1.6 million. If you ask me, that's kind of a steal. That's probably the best deal we have in this video so far. Along with the standard Amani tech upgrades, it actually has a machine gun on the front of it, which is nice. It's not going to be extremely powerful, but it's nice to have on there. It's a hybrid of being extremely protective and being defensive, but also having a machine gun so it's technically weaponized and it could go on the offensive too. Now this is a great segue to another vehicle that's also weaponized and can also really go on the offensive, but this weaponized vehicle is much better in my opinion, at least when it comes to the weaponized part of it. So we're talking about the weaponized Ignis slash weaponized Ignis HSW since it is also HSW upgradable. The price of it was raised relatively recently from three and a quarter million to four and a half million. So it is a pretty pricey vehicle. Plus with HSW upgrades, it's probably going to be over $5 million spent total. The only cons with the weaponized Ignis, which is also only available on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. So for people on last gen, this isn't really relevant for you. But the cons of the weaponized Ignis is one, obviously the price of it. And two, it doesn't have any explosion resistance. It doesn't have the armor plating. What it does have is the missile lock on jammer, which is most important. And it has an extremely powerful minigun on the top of it. When I say this thing is powerful, I mean this thing absolutely shreds. It could blow up any street vehicle within a matter of a few seconds. It's got to be at least 20 times more powerful than the machine gun on the Buffalo STX. There's really nothing like it. So you could be driving around in the weaponized Ignis and just lighting up street cars at the same time. Great vehicle with some big pros and a little bit of cons too. And you'd expect it to be pretty fast. And that's exactly what it is. Moving on to the Omnis EGT. This electric beast, you just can't get enough of it. The EGT is a little drifty at times, but it's got great acceleration and some great speed too. Also a really great looking car. I think most of us can agree on that. Customization is also pretty good. You can put some cool roof options and I like the variety of liveries that it's got. The EGT is also top tier when it comes to protection. It takes a good 12 rockets to fully blow up the vehicle, which is a lot. It's more than most Amani Tech vehicles usually can withstand. At a price tag of just under 1.8 million, it's yet again not not that bad of a deal. I feel like I've said it a lot in this video, but some of these prices aren't that bad. I've seen much worse. The overall good performance along with great looks, decent customization, and of course you have the slick mines, you have the armor plating, the missile lock on jammer and all that makes for one hell of a vehicle. Now for the number one spot is yet another electric Amani tech vehicle. I feel like Rockstar is doing electric cars at GTA nice. The Ocelot Virtue is going to take the cake for the number one best Amani tech vehicle currently just above 2.2 million dollars for this one and let me tell you the acceleration on this one is crazy it has even a little bit faster acceleration than the omnis egt i would say correct me if i'm wrong down below in the comments but the omnis egt is an electric sports car this is an electric supercar so naturally the virtue or the supercar in this case would be a little bit better usually the awesome thing with this vehicle is you can actually get it for absolutely free which is an insane deal you don't even have to spend the money buying it for over $2 million. You can get it for free just by completing the first dose and the last dose missions with the Drug Wars DLC. Not only do you make money doing those missions, yeah, they do take a little bit, but at the end, you get a very, very good card that's a money tech upgradable, performs amazingly, and you get it for absolutely free, so you just have to spend a little bit of money on upgrades, and that's it. The Virtue has the exact same explosion protection as the Omnis EGT, so again, with the missile lock-on jammer and the armor plating and the slick mines, Personally, I think the 
Omnis EGT is a little bit of a better looking car, but the customization on the Virtue is a little bit better, so they're really neck and neck with each other, but the supercar I feel like is just a little bit better in this case. Let me know if there's any Imani Tech vehicles you think I missed that I should have included in this video. Of course, drop a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you're new with the bell on so you never miss any more awesome videos like these. You do not want to miss anything. Click the video on screen now for the must-have vehicles of 2024 in GTA Online. I hope you all enjoy that video, and peace.